All right, here we are again with Horizon Forbidden West. Time to just bum around, just me and my robo horsey. You all right, fellas? Uh, we okay here? Like, uh, we got a problem? Hey, what are you doing? Oh no, I loaded in and this is the first thing I see. Wait, say that again? I said at least you weren't on a couch. What up, bitch? Aloy. Back for more, huh? Fuck yeah. Another round here? Heard you've been, Heard you've been busy. busy. Wait, well, you know, I am the protagonist. I'm gonna need a few more of these before I get back to the forge. Is there something on your mind? Well, things aren't as bad since you got this place running again. Thank God. But we still got Irvin grading the gears about his concession decree. If you ah, fuck don't that down, I'll come over there and show you how that game ends. Anyway, anyway, right, right now, now, I'm just, I'm worried, just about worried about those refugees, about refugees out from Sunfall. Ah, fuck them. Ah, fuck them. All this way and doing Forge knows what. Shadow Conjure Shadow refugees. Jesus. What are they what doing in the Daunt? Mm, looking for a new home, home, I gather. They're camped out by an old trailhead, trailhead southwest, southwest of here. here. And, and therein lies, lies the problem. The problem. A stormbird storm crashed up on the cliffs last week, and Tallinn Clean Brokers had his eye on the salvage ever since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. Huh. I never heard them talk about that before. Yeah, well, these particular shadow cards are an odd bunch. But overall, they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Tallinn. He'll crack some heads to get to that salvage. Maybe, Maybe you could, you could swing, swing by, by. Convince, convince him to set up camp somewhere else. else. You know, I've seen Aloy now sit down for a beer a couple of times, and I have not yet seen her drink much. In the <sighs> that guy gets it. You're a pig. Blasted, Blasted things, things, those bristlebacks. Those bristlebacks. They, just they just showed up one day, rampaging, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <laughs> What, bud? Come on. Come on, bud. Bud's being buggy. Come on. Cleared them out and got this place working again. That put a dent in Olvin's plans. Now, if only there was some way to smash them all together and run them out of town. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olvin? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olvin Blame their mothers. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession is signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. About that. I think the bristlebacks came out of Olvin's old mine. Now there's a spark that could light a fire. Can you prove it? I'm working on it. By the forge. Grab my ear if you nail it down. What else can you tell me about the Shadow Carger refugees? Well, they don't call themselves Shadow Carger for one. At least, not anymore. They're some other brand of sun crazed. But whatever side of the sun they're on, they're peaceful through and through. Don't seem to want for nothing except a place to live, pray, and just enough food to keep from starving. So they're just camped outside by a trail, blocking entry to a wrecked stormbird, waiting for what exactly? Don't rightly know, but I'll tell you this. Should they ever wise up and salvage it, a Stormbird Heart is worth a lot. And if they get there first, then by Ostrom Law, it's theirs. Not that Tolan Clean Broker has ever lost sleep over any law breaking. But what if I get there first? Then can I have the stupid thing's heart? Who is this Tolan Clean Broker? Just some chuff huffing pawnsman. Got a shop here in town. Lived in chain scrape since there was a chain scrape. 
He and Alvin go back a ways. Like a pair of coals in a campfire, those two. So Talland works for Alvin? Ha! <laughs> Alvin might think so. But Talland scrapes up his own scams. And he ain't the type to let a few refugees get between him and Stormbird Salvage. Neither am I. Well, if I'm up that way, I'll talk to the refugees. Try to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Talon making it rougher. Petra said Talon has a shop here in Chainscrape. I could have a word with him first. What up, bitch? Uh, I'm sorry, I'll be right with you. Uh... Okay, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon! Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off! I don't know, I, I think I like the one. Where are we? Scott! <clears throat> so, uh... You, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, I... <laughs> But you're just not. I am with a customer. I... I'm not a customer. I got it! Triple the powder. It'll blow a strider sky high. Ba-boom. One shot kill. Guaranteed. Uh... Maybe I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red. How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine-enhanced... Explosive, done-in-one, machine-wrecking, yet perfectly safe, javelin thrower. Well, you son of a bitch, sign me up. Are you two from around here? Nah, the claim. Dad sent us out west in search of some unknown opportunity. Said we'll know it when we see it. Sounds like you had other ideas. Let's just say that opening another trading post for my parents isn't how I want to make my mark in this world. <sighs> I imagine traveling alone must be nice. So, she's your partner? My apprentice. And my sister. She's why we're out here. It was an incident. Another incident. Involving explosives? Ba-boom! And Dad's precious homebrew. He shipped us out the next day. Huh. Drinking and explosives. She's from the South. Tell me more about this weapon of yours. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karja scholar who wandered out west. I had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective? Yes. Basic? Undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it, and I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Namely, with explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? That... could work. There's one small snag. I need the parts to make the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll need... Charger horns. Intact. Yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down, otherwise they break. But the real innovation, and keep it to yourself, is a fang horn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Foomer! You get them for me. It's yours. My treat. You have a deal.
Alright, so I definitely don't want my horsey to witness this. I should have enough charger lines for Dylan and Boomer now. Just need a rib from that thing. Don't worry, horsing. There's uh, no good reason why all the... I, I, I came across these guys. They were already dead when I got here. Shut up. Don't have to worry about running out.
have to take it down with its rope. Get down. This isn't the place for a machine. Savior of Meridian. Come on over here. All right, bitch, got your crap. I know that look. You've got all the parts, haven't you? Here you go. Outstanding. I only need a few minutes to finish the prototype. I'll take the version that won't blow my arms off. Thanks. Oh, no, can't really promise that. Hi. So did you blow up any machines to get the parts? Or any bandits? You... Really like explosions, huh? Here we go. With the boomsticks? Oh, you betcha. Um, is it safe? Probably. Can I have one? No. I love that answer. Is it safe? Probably. Because we're gonna make you something even better. Ba boom.
Watch your back out here. Dawson's a dangerous place. you. The machine hunter that bailed out the Karja. Never heard it put that way before. What do you want? Heard you've been hassling refugees up by the cliffs. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. There's salvage up there. A storm bird. Nailed it myself with the harpoon here in town. Not an easy shot if I do say so myself. It clipped its wing. And it crashed into the old tower up there. Killed it quick. So if anyone's hassling anyone, it's the Shadow Karja filth that's blocking the way up to my claim. And you're ready to crack some skulls to get to it? No need. It's a raggedy bunch. Probably all starved before I have to lift a finger. We'll see about that. Oh yeah, we will, won't we? Now shop's closed to Karja lovers. On your blasted way. Well, that dude's an absolute delight. Don't need a machine in there. Shadow Carcar take it up. Beat it. 
dead machines. They're a trap. Looks like someone's been trying to keep this trail clear. Those people are under attack. Hey! You up there! Aren't you gonna help? Not oh, my job. Here. I'm just here to keep an eye on things for chain scrapes. Might as well call it quits! Oh. More machines on their way. Get to safety. I'll handle the rest. Go, Lakasha. I'll help the Nora. You know, even if you kill these machines, them shadow cards are ain't gonna be safe. Check on the refugees. Guess the show's over. to let this stain my hands. Is it bad, Lokasha? Shh, now. Everything will be fine. Is everyone okay? Bruised. But not buried. Our order will live to see another day. Are you sure about that? We're no strangers to hardship, Nora. We've crossed half the Sundom with no more than the clothes on our backs. And as soon as our Sun Priest returns, our path will be clear. For now, we wait. Well, you're better off waiting somewhere else. Your people need shelter. There's a town east of- Chainscrape. Yes. We know of it. Savohar says it's not suitable for us. Who? Our sun priest. Our order has made it this far thanks to his guiding light. Okay, and where is this Savohar? He went up to the tower to meditate three days ago, and he won't come down until the sun shows him the way to our new home. The fallen storm bird is an omen, he said. And of course, it must be. I see. And how long do you plan on waiting for him? Until he returns. He will return. He must. Yeah, um, of course, yeah. Um, just like that hamster I had that went to live on a farm. You're Shadow Karja, aren't you? We are the Order of Twilight. The difference being, 
When the usurper Avad killed his father, we fled with the Karja in shadow to Sunfall. Our lives there were difficult. Savohar saw our misery, lifted us up, protected us from the corrupt priests and heartless Kestrels. When their rule ended, Savohar led us from the Shadowlands. The long night ends, and the setting sun will lead us to salvation, he said. And so he named us the Order of Twilight. We journeyed west in search of a better life. Why didn't you go back to Meridian? A bard is a patricide. We will not kneel to the likes of him. We must walk in twilight to our new home. Savohar will lead us there. Uh-huh. There's an Osaram in Chainscrape, Tolland. He wants the Stormbird up there. Yes. He was here just yesterday. A very unpleasant man, even by Osaram standards. He made all manner of threats. But we will not be intimidated. That's all well and good, but he's got friends. Sooner or later, his whole gang will show up. Sabohar will come through. He always does. We just need to give him more time. You're out of time, Lakasha. You need to consider packing up and- We won't leave him. And we won't let others disrupt his meditation. Well, they're going to try. Your priest, Savohar, you said he's been up there three days? His meditation can't be rushed. So he does this often? Meditating for days on end? Well, it doesn't usually take this long. But he will guide us through. He always has. We have faith. Sure, but shelter looks like a more pressing concern. Look at yourselves. Those machines nearly wiped you out. And Osram thugs are watching you, just waiting to strike. You're in danger here. You need to grab Savohar and get out. Our situation. This is the worst we've endured. I know. We cannot stay here, but without Savohar to guide us, I, I don't... Let me up there, and I'll convince him it's time to move on. But his meditation, if he hasn't received his vision, he won't follow. At least let me check on him. If he's been up there for days... Yes. Yes, that is sensible, I suppose. Please, be careful. The trail up to the tower is falling apart. Savohar is strong, but it could not have been an easy climb. It rarely is. Let the Nora pass. Well, this group of really poor people barely surviving, let me just steal all their shit. Looks like I should head up.
the ladder. Akasha was right. The trail's in bad shape. This looks recent. Must have broken off when Sabohar climbed up here. I think I can reach those beams if I jump against the cliff. Must have broken off after Sarvahar passed through. I need to find another way up. bridge. I might be able to make the jump to the other side. Sabahar is in good shape if he could do all this That's stuff. Sabahar's? He must have hurt himself pretty bad getting over the bridge. It's not looking good. Like you left a oh, hush my mouth. I can fall with my focus. There's the storm bird. Getting closer.
machine. Sabohar, in pretty bad shape. The true sun above me. Sun before me. Show me the way of this even tide. <coughs> the true sun above me. You must be Sabahar. The true sun before me. Show me the way of this even tide. <coughs> Vision. You don't need a vision. You need medical attention. On the way up, I saw parts of the trail had given way. Is that how you hurt yourself? My pain. All part of the ritual. You're hurt bad. And your people are running out of time. Staring at this storm bird isn't solving anything. You don't understand the omen. It fell here at the beacon. I just need to see the twilight path. My people will find their home. Listen, Akasha is doing the best she can down there, but machine attacks, angry Osiram. The Order is scared, Savar. The last rays of the eventide will burn away their fear. I don't think so. What do you think's gonna happen here? If you sit long enough, the sun will show you something? To a new home. The fallen machine can only mean that the storm has passed. Oh. 
honor. Salvation is at hand. Or some Osram shot it and it hit an old tower. You punctured a lung. You can't heal it with prayer. The sun will provide. <laughs> and I will not lose faith. I'd be more concerned about losing blood. Your people are worried about you. They need shelter, security. The true sun above me. The true sun for me. I think you've been staring at your salvation this whole time. Gotta get over to that storm bird. Grab its heart. A storm bird heart is valuable. Enough to feed all the refugees waiting below. And his answer is sunstroke in a prayer? Why does every priest I meet think blind faith is the answer to everything? use of this.
The Osram that was watching the refugees probably went to get Talland. I gotta get them out of here before he comes back. There. The Order should be able to afford shelter with this heart. Some food and a change of clothes wouldn't hurt either. The lens. Guess I'll figure out what to do with it later. Savahar? How you holding up? I need to get back over there. Savar? I guess you did the best you could. Rest easy now. I'll make sure your people are safe. I should let Lakasha know. And give her the Stormbird heart. Come on, don't make this difficult. Get out of the way. No. I'm a generous gent. So I'll give you one more chance to make it easy on yourselves and clear out. We won't let you pass, Asaram. If you choose bloodshed, that's on your conscience. Ain't it just like the cards you to make things harder than they have to be? Okay, boys. You heard her. Get your consciences ready. Hold on now, Talland. You again? Listen, I'm all out of patience here. I clipped that Stormbird's wings. The salvage is mine. I don't care who gets in my way. Nora Savages or Shadow Cars or Fleabags. I'm taking it. Well, from what I hear, the law says that whoever gets the salvage first keeps it. Which, in this case, is me. Am I right? You took the heart? I shot that Stormbird! Me! Am I right? She's right, Buzz. Blasted love, shut up! <sighs> okay. You win. Hey, I'm doing fine. I don't need that salvage anyhow. But these people need all the help they can get. Come on, boys. Back to chain scrape. I need a drink. Aloy, again, we thank you. You're welcome. Now take this heart. Use it to buy food, clothes, shelter for your people. Maybe even land to build a new home. I... This is... Savahar must make these decisions. No, I'm... I'm sorry, Lakasha. Savahar isn't coming back. He's gone. I know it's hard. But your people need a leader now. Go to Chainscrape. Talk to the Forge woman there, Petra. Give her the Stormbird heart. She'll look after you and your people until you can get back on your feet. Find your path. I'll do my best, Aloy. What choice do I have? Here, please accept this. It is modest, but I hope it helps in some small way. To chain scrape, then.
Something before the forbidden last. Alright, I should find whoever's in charge here. 
First, I could resupply at my stash. Might be worth taking a look around, too. Ah, savior. <laughs> Tell me, are you seeking past What a goofy looking person back there. Maybe. Why do you ask? Ah, well, to hammer it plain, there's treasure out west. Unclaimed scrap and ancient metal. And I've got a sturdy band of salvagers that knows the lay of the land. You're not afraid of the Tanakhs? <laughs> Terrified. But I carry out most of my business in no man's land. A neutral territory and all that. Barren Light is our port of entry. When its doors aren't closed for an embassy... <laughs> I was hoping your arrival meant they might be opening soon. I've got a business to run, after all. I want that embassy to happen as much as you do. Believe me, I'm working on it. <laughs> Good to know. And uh, keep us in mind. If you do manage to open the way, our main camp will be just past Baron Light. We'll buy any scrap you've got on you. And if you're looking for machine parts, we've got the best in the West, guaranteed. All right. Maybe later then. Uh, if you could get those blasted gates open. <laughs> Ooh. Guess I'm not the only one who wants to get those gates open. I am always open to trade. There's Erend. That looks like he's had a few. Savior! For the love of God, Conover, give it a rest. Savior. You're my last hope. Conover. She's Meridian's savior, not yours. It's just Aloy. What do you want? Please, no one will listen. But the Eclipse... They're here in the daunt. Really, Conover? Aloy's the one that defeated them. You're bothering her with this hogwash now? Some of them must have fled west after the battle at the Alight. I saw one of our sentries, Lorovic, sneaking off to meet with one. I tried to eavesdrop, but they spotted me. And then Lorovic tried to kill me. I... fought back. It was him or me. Unfortunately, there's no hard evidence that connects Laravik to the Eclipse. And since Conover doesn't deny killing his fellow soldier, Nozar sentenced him to death. What makes you so sure Laravik was working with the Eclipse? Well, I was too far to hear everything. But I heard them both say the word Eclipse. It's not the most outlandish claim I've heard, but it's up there. Crying Eclipse is a convenient way to dodge a death sentence. If I have to die, so be it. But if we ignore this threat, others are going to die, too. Tell me exactly what happened. Weeks ago, during a shift change, some trespassers slipped through the gate. By the time anyone noticed, they were halfway out the canyon. Nozar didn't see the need to give chase. Let the Tanakhs take care of them, he said. Nozar's not one to be sidetracked. He tightened up the patrol schedules, reprimanded the sentries, and everyone moved on. 
But I couldn't stop thinking about it. None of us are careless out here, meaning someone left it open on purpose. And Larovic, well, he's always grumbling about officers. But on this, he was too quiet. And after the incident, he started acting different, jumpy. So when I spotted him sneaking out of the barracks after hours, I followed. I found him arguing with a stranger. And when Larovic mentioned the eclipse, I, I tried getting closer, but they heard me. The stranger took off, and Larovic lunged at me with his knife. Instincts took over. Sentries heard the scuffle and found me standing over his body. Why don't you believe him? We combed the woods, searched Larovic's bunk, searched it again, didn't find anything. Look, Conover's a good man. I don't believe he murdered Larovic in cold blood. But Nazar only listens to facts. And that fact is, Conover killed his fellow sentry. He doesn't deny it, right? No, but more eclipse And considering are out there. there's no evidence backing up this eclipse story, well, we can't question a dead man. Nozar's on edge with the upcoming embassy and doesn't want distractions. But hey, if you find a bunch of Eclipse soldiers hatching an evil plot in the woods, please do let us know. The meeting you witnessed, did you hear anything else about their plans? No. But the clearing where they met is just east of here, across the river. A dozen soldiers have already searched at Conover. There's nothing there. I can see things others can't. If the Eclipse are in the Daunt, I'll find them. Thank you, Aloy. Sun bless your search. Don't get your hopes up, soldier. Must be the clearing where Conover says he saw the eclipse. Bloodstains. It's as good a place to start as any. Pretty sure this is where Conover killed that guard. Maybe my focus can tell me if there really was a third person here. Plenty of tracks from the Karja search party. Not helpful. Broken branches. Was someone up here? Faint tracks. Leading away from barren light. I should be able to follow them with my focus. Let's see where this leads. Maybe Conover wasn't lying after all. the trail. There's too many machines walking around. Maybe I can pick up the tracks once I'm past them.
Agents could teach me how to move one of these machines. But where would they be? It should be easy to follow the trail up ahead now. Whoever the runner was, this machine must have slashed him. Should be easy to follow the blood trail with my focus. Looks like they're headed for that bridge. The runner tried to treat their wounds before they went on. I should be able to follow their tracks. Where did you go off to? Focus might find something I missed. The trail ends here. Must have climbed up to that cave. With that injury, I'll bet he's on his last legs. Hmm. This'll make a good die. This looks like a good place for someone to hide. Give up. 
fortified. I say we kill the lion. Take on a whole garrison. Won't be easy. We don't know Larvik's dead. He hasn't shown at the rendezvous point. So either that fool guard killed him, or he lost his nerve. We'll just have to blast our way through the gates. And then what? Rayad was our only link to Vezra, and now he's dead too. We'll track Vezra if we have to. But first we have to get past Baron Light. Next change of guard we go in fast and loud. Conover was right. I have to stop them before they hurt anyone else. The Karja have become weak and foolish. There. You'd better check it. Tell me where they are. <laughs> I'm guessing that's Rayad. Blood trail must have been his. He got out trying to get here. That's right. Ryad has a focus. Loyal Eclipse. 
If you're seeing this, it means you've left the Sundom in search of something to follow. Your journey is almost over. Follow the sun beyond the gates of barren light. And bask in the gloom of future conquest. A new empire awaits. I'll have to pay this Vesra a visit and crush his new Eclipse empire before it begins. There's coordinates here, out past barren light. Ryad's mask should be enough to prove Conover's innocence. I better take it back to Baron Light. When we fought the Eclipse back in Meridian, I thought that'd be the end of it. Guess I was wrong. Yeah, it's fortunate that Aloy showing up with an old mask will save this guy. Soldier, she's back. Aloy, did you find anything? Eclipse fugitives were camped out on the other side of the forest, and they were getting ready to fight their way through Baron Light. You just helped save a lot of lives. Aloy, you know I believe you, but Nozar, he might not be convinced by your words alone. If he needs proof, show him that. And tell him the man he's got locked up risked his life to expose and eliminate an Eclipse spy. Huh. I guess you are his savior. Congratulations, soldier. You're a free man. I'll have you out of there before sunfall. I'll make sure this gets to Nozar. That's it, then. The end of the Eclipse. <sighs> Almost. The trespassers you mentioned, the ones who got through Baron Light weeks ago, their leader is dangerous. And he's out there, in the Forbidden West, building up an army. Sun and Shadow, you're going out there to stop him, aren't you? I'm gonna try. I wanna help. I can fight. I know you can. But you've been through a lot. Once you're out of that cell, you should enjoy your freedom. You've earned it. Take them out, Savior.
stop drinking. That'll just give me more suffering come morning. Gentlemen. That's our cue. You drunken pizza shit! I mean, Fucking Roy! Who'd be left to save the world, right? <clears throat> Alright, now let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So, uh, whatever you need. Ask away. See, this dude gets it. He knows what it's like dealing with the video game protagonist. You're gonna walk up, mash the use button a few times, and walk away. He knows what's up. He's not trying to prolong this. How have things been since I... Your silent departure? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Vanguard's going strong. Helped Avad pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. And I took a month to bury Ursa in the clay. But when I got back, I got the assignment to babysit Wadis on his way to the embassy. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. You got blindsided. It wasn't your fault. A couple more of these, maybe I'll believe you. I was, um, wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest, like you wanted. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, just seen the crowd that showed up to pay their respects. Half of them owed her a favor, and the other half, the other half owed her their lives. In the end, everybody drank. That is the rowdiest funeral since, uh, well, since ever. <laughs> Feels like she would have liked that. Yeah, damn straight. Damn straight. <laughs> she would have put them all under the table. What do you know about the embassy? I know, not much. Only that Avad really wants it to happen. He said I'm making peace with these Tanakh. But from what I hear, they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing. They do most of their talking with blades and arrows. So if you're heading their way, be prepared. Things might get ugly real fast. I'll keep that in mind. <clears throat> what do you know about this place? Well, nothing good. It's where the cards are dragged all the captives they took from the Forbidden West during the Red Raids. Lucky ones. Became slave labor. The rest were hauled off to the Sun Ring and Meridian. Your sacrifice. You got it. Tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chased the Karja out of the West. I can't say I blame them. And now Avad's paying the Osram to rebuild it. And no matter how much new stone they put up, it'll still be stained in blood. I, um, I better get going. Oh, uh, yeah, don't let me stop you. Just, uh, are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm saving the world. That's, that sounds like a lot for just one... Errand. Yeah, all right. Can't blame me for trying. I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is, if you ever do need me... I know where to find you. Hopefully sober next time. Yeah, don't count it. Be careful out there, Aloy. Lighten up, Pai. You've got a thick wall of stone between you and the Tanakh up there. Yes, sir. Why the long face, my boss? Wish you were heading out there? No, sir. Don't Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh marshals have yet to sound their horn. All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out, 
Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. So what happens at these embassies, exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. The Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanakh return personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Because the Tanakh, they're handing over some sort of prisoner, right? A soldier named Fashav? Ah, so you've heard. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. You said something about Tanakh marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they concede. Paiv over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and chain scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Alvin was thrilled. I hope you're finding more than I am. Stand aside, soldier. Sir? Commander, better brace yourself, and good luck. Why the Sun King believes we can have peace with these barbarians? How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? Ah, Aloy, was it? Yes, the one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be cut. Shut up. Why the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Dora. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian, file a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. Oh, 
Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate. That is a direct order. Sorry, can't do it. I'm asking nicely. Uh, I don't know what to do. Hey, Bar. Hi, Aaron. Uh, what's up? I ain't know the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not gonna gates. work. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, nose off. You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut? in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Laurel. It doesn't matter. I made it just in time. tribe that Murad told us about, the Tanakh. We need their permission to go west? Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in? It's no more politics. No more delays. Oh, well. Now at least you have some backup. I guess I do. We'll see how it goes. This ought to go well. If I know anything about video games, this will turn out very well and go off without a hitch. That is the line between East and West. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parley or not? The Karja can't be trusted. This is no... Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold! She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. A fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding for Shav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You're Fashav. Vod gave me a message for you. That he waits for you in Meridian, where you belong. Hmm. <laughs> Avad always was polite. Well, now I'm even more curious about you knowing that you have the confidence of the Sun King. But... Such an association with the Karja could work against you here. As it often has with me. As you can see. Tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I will
I've never seen markings like those on a Karja before. The Karja see ink is decoration. For the Tanakh, it is much more. A litany of deeds. A record of vanquished enemies. Looks like you've vanquished quite a few. I've fought my share of battles. But I feel that my life, like my markings, is only half complete. This side shows my martial deeds. Before I die, I'd like to see the other half marked with the laurels of peace. How did you come to be among the Tanakhs? It's quite a story, but not a quick one. Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. Are you sure you want to hear it? I guess we have time. Very well. I marched with Sun King Jaron's raiders when they came west, hoping to moderate their worst impulses. I failed, of course. They committed unspeakable atrocities, stirring the Tanakh into action. When the clans overran our forward encampment at Cinnabar Sands, I stayed behind to help the last stragglers evacuate and was taken prisoner. I didn't make it easy for my captors, mind you. <laughs> and they paid me back in kind on the journey to their capital. I lost so much blood on the way that I was white as a corpse when they threw me before Chief Akaro. I thought I was dead for sure, so I resorted to desperate measures. So when you met the Tanakh chief, you did something desperate? Now, I kept my ears open as the Tanakh dragged me along. And I heard mutterings about a kind of trial by combat that they revere. So, when they flung me at Hakaro's feet, I demanded this right, called the Kurut. Thinking that by winning, I could request a boon. My life, or even my freedom. The other Tanakh howled, but Hakaro stared them down. And then his gaze fell upon me. Evidently, he appreciated my ingenuity. He allowed me to participate in the cool route. Little did I know what I was in for. You said the cool route is a Tanakh trial by combat. Yes. But it is no ordinary trial. It doesn't pit men against each other, at least not directly. Instead, the combatants fight machines in a great arena, and only the strongest survive. Believe me. It is no easy thing to stare down a charging machine while hundreds around you scream for blood. I know more about that than you might think. Do you? Well, then you have my respect. Like you, I lived through it to claim my prize. I had hopes for freedom, but... Well, that wasn't on offer. Only service to the Chief. You wound up serving the Tanakh Chief? The winners of the cool route must serve the chief as his marshals. You mentioned that word before. What does it mean? Well, the word itself refers to a kind of protective spirit from the ancient past. In practice, marshals are Hikaro's roving lawgivers, part magistrate, part judge, part executioner. I won my place among their ranks and served as honor demanded, but many Tanakhs still spat on the ground when I walked by. But they did until I started forcing them to the ground to grind their faces in it. I guess that's one way to deal with it. As you may have noticed, violence is the native tongue of the Tanakh. To survive, one must master it. The truth is, though, the Karja speak it too. More than they should. I can't blame the Tanakh for hating them. So then, are you still Karja? Part of me. Yes, always. Yet there is much to admire about the Tanakh, especially their chief. I've heard stories about what it was like before his reign. Three clans always at war, constantly slitting each other's throats. Hikaru and the marshals have crafted a delicate peace. And now he looks to the future. Who knows? Maybe that future will include cooperation with the Karja. The Karja talk about Hikaru as if he's a monster. The Karja feel compelled to demonize him if only because he swept them from the field. It is.
is true that he is fearsome. When I was first taken before him, I thought he would flay me alive. But he is no bloodthirsty tyrant like the mad Sun King was. I think that if you were fortunate enough to meet him, as I was, you would find that he only wants the best for his people. I hope you do speak to him. I'm sure you'd interest him. So, that's my story. You're the first Easterner to hear it, but not the last. The Karja need to know what I have learned. Yeah. The way you talk about the Tanakh is a lot different than how they do. This all feels like uh, in one of those uh, war movies where the guy is talking about he's just like two weeks away from his discharge or something. Are you glad to be going back to Meridian? Oh, I'll admit that I wouldn't mind sleeping in a feather bed or sipping wine from the southern vineyards. But I have another goal in mind. As someone who knows the Tanakh and the Karja, I'm in a unique position to advocate for both. If Sun King Avad is amenable, my hope is to establish a lasting peace. The Tanakhs don't seem that peaceful. They're not, as a rule. But these are difficult times. Chief Akaro knows that survival often requires change. Even if that change means putting aside centuries of war. You asked why I need rite of passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west, and I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs. And I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian, an army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this, to serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important, and it's just the two of you. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you. And he'll listen to Look! Him. The Sky Clan's banner! Marshals. It wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Uh, no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going on? Not all Tanakh can stomach the idea of parley with the Kaja. But enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No. The other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After. a good feeling about this. I think it'll go really well. What do you think? Oh yeah. The cards have opened the gates. As the sun rises over a land at war, 
so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such... Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanakh! Regala. Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. You'll need more than toothless threats to intimidate us. Exile. Okay, that has teeth. Lancers! Pull him up! They're riding machines! Where'd they learn to do that? Vashav, come with us now, or not at all! Archers! Light them up! All in all, I'd say this is going pretty well. They're not gonna make it. Open the gates! Open the gates! Open the gates! I feel like this was definitely a guy that Tanakh would respect. Oh, he was only two more days to retirement. Can you see? It's just us now. Hey! Come down and fight fair! Lancers! Take the center! Get ready! Stick to cover! Archers on the ridge! They're on to us. Here they come! Vengeance for 
Granted. Challenge. You've earned your life today. Comrades, mark this day. Today you have decimated the marshals, slaughtered the Karja. So begins our war, honey Carmel. Forevermore, this day shall be celebrated with tacos and wine.
You worthless sack of crap. Get him to the camp. Now. You gonna make it? Yeah, all he did was get kicked. I mean, good lord. Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. For now. Come on. He wanted to save the world and he can't take one kick. I mean, granted, I might not have done any better, but I'm not trying to save the world either, am I? It's salvage time, boys. You see that one on the right? He was a goofy looking thing. All all good. <laughs> time time to time to pick some parts. I'll just loot this corpse. Don't think it can take a hit. Still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vwadis, Peshav. A massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh's territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. But Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though... Obviously, this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north, with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? I don't know. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border. But why... It's, uh... It's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? Several things, apparently. Fashav called Regala a rival. Someone that Tanakh's chief should have killed. <laughs> yeah, I reckon he should have. She's obviously a huge threat. Her attack was coordinated and precise. Until you got in her way, that is. They knew the lay of the land. And they knew Fashav was going to be handed over at the embassy. If the Tanakh weren't expecting her, she must have spent months gathering an army in secret. They had to have made camp nearby. Somewhere they could lie low until the perfect moment to strike. About Fashav. <sighs> the man was taken captive by the Tanakh. Survived for years out in the west only to die just short of the Sundom. It's a cruel end for a good soldier. There was more he wanted to do. He spoke of advocating for lasting peace between the Karja and Tanakh. Too late for that now. 
What will happen to him? His body will be carried back to Meridian. As a cousin of the Sun King, he will be accorded official rights and buried with honor. No soldier could ask for more. It's too bad about Nazar and Fuadis. At least Nozar went down fighting. As for the Sun Priest, well, no one deserves to go out that way. I'll make sure they're given proper funeral rights. <laughs> Those were my two favorite characters that I briefly ever saw. Do you think the Karja will take action against Regala? Seems like you'd have common ground with the Tanakhth. An expedition of the Karja army into the west could be taken as the start of another invasion. Sun King Avad won't risk it. That said, we can't allow ourselves to be caught unaware by an attack like that again. You said the Tanakh lands are far to the west. This man is an encyclopedia. Well, as I mentioned, you've got a stretch of wilderness known as No Man's Land, and then new Taru farmlands. Past that are the Tanakh. Their territory is split into three clans. Desert, Lowland, and Sky. Right. I saw their banners at the embassy. The Desert Clan is closest. Ooh, vicious lot. Where everyone else sees an inhospitable wasteland, they see a challenge to dominate. Somewhere beyond the desert is the tribe's capital and the territories of the other two clans. You don't sound certain. I've only heard the stories. During the Red Raids, the Karja army tried to push into Tanakh territory. But the United Clans rose up against them, forced them all the way back to the Daunt. So no one except the Tanakh really know what's beyond the desert? <laughs> Maybe the scholars do, back in Meridian. All those scrolls have to be filled with something, right? Bullshit. You mentioned the Utaru tribe. Their lands are between here and the Tanakh further west? That's right. Plain Song is their home. They're a peaceful bunch, at least compared to the Tanakh. More taken to farming than fighting. It's hard to imagine a bunch of farmers surviving in the Forbidden West. Make no mistake, they have a fierceness all their own. When the Karja were pushed back during the Red Raids, their warriors chased ours through the burning fields of Plain Song. The Sun King has made several overtures of peace to them as well, but so far, they've declined. If they're so peaceful, why decline? Don't know. I heard they have their own troubles to deal with. Something about a food shortage. You'd think that'd make them open to trade, but... No. They just want to be left alone. This area is no man's land. That it is. The Tanakh used to attack anyone past Baron Light on sight, but after Avad overthrew the Mad Sun King, he reached out to the other tribes to offer reconciliation. The Tanakh agreed to a neutral border zone as part of the peace talks. Karja and Asaram have been striking out into the area ever since. But now, it seems like Regala and her rebel army have moved in. Well, I'd never call No Man's Land safe, even in the best of times. The ancient ruins of the Southwest are a testament to that. Remnants of some forgotten war. You said there were others who went out when the gates were open before. Like who? Well, in addition to the salvagers that just went through, there were a couple of other parties of Osirum Delvers. Even saw two Karja scholars trekking southwest with an Osirum crew. Not sure if they're exceptionally brave or just foolhardy. I need to be on my way. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. I appreciate it. Sun watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for.
So, this is the Forbidden West. A whole new frontier to explore. The coordinates from the spire should lead to silence in Hades. And just maybe, the backup of Gaia. It won't be easy out there. The blight, the storms, Regala's machine writers. But I'll have to push through it all. Find a way to fix the world. Like Elizabeth would. The woman who led the ambush, Regala, had a lot of machines under the command. There's only one other person who has that kind of knowledge. Silence. But what's his angle? I helped to knock the rebels. I'll get this from my stash when I need it. Must be the salvagers I met in Baron Light. Looks like something's going on. Rusted buckets of scrap. You really think you can do that? Group, come on! You know me. Have I ever given you anything less than perfect? Oh hey, horsey, there you are. That's a good time to take a break. I think I'll just go ahead and end this. Hey uh pal, thanks for watching.